Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about backend and frontend. So let's get into it. So the question in question was posted on a really old video that I made years ago, which is called Which is Harder, Backend or Frontend? And the person writes, So is it that frontend is quote unquote difficult as it's in as in it's more tedious to work with while backend is more difficult uh, in the problem solving slash logical sense. Well, I would say that I feel like due to popular opinion I have to start out by saying that everything about frontend is tedious because nothing in front is, frontend is difficult if I'm going to make all the bitter old C, C programmers uh, and backend programmers happy mm. uh, because the popular opinion is usually that um, dealing with CSS is hard because it's so ugly or so bad JavaScript is hard because it's so ugly so it's so bad etc 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 and of course the backend is difficult in the logical sense because you're doing quote unquote the real stuff like the business part which is I mean these are just cookie cutter opinions made by people who have like that they are like the living embodiment of uh, bitter senior programmers well it's not even seniors in many cases it's just like stereotypes uh, if I'm going to give you at least my take on this uh, I've worked in both front end and back end for years now uh, I can really only say that it comes down to one thing and one thing only and this is just my experiences but I would say that f uh, backend is depending on the system more tedious than frontend now the reason why I say that is not because I have like like a biased opinion I'm not trying to say that the one is easier than the other or that one is better than the other I'm saying that based on the work tasks for me and the stuff that I've been doing I find that te the tediousness is usually due to the back end the reason why I feel like back end is more tedious and not, not necessarily logical I mean I would say that it's more difficult in the logical sense as well because lo like, I mean front end is tedious but it's really only tedious for either in my opinion when in two situations either when you are completely fresh and you don't know the ecosystem because there's so much to know in terms of tooling and practices and like all of this chaos and especially when you're dealing with different people of different skill groups I've never found frontend to be very tedious uh, at least when I'm leading the team uh, or I mean it's never been difficult or when I've been part of a team with very skilled seniors because they know how to structure the frontend code base so that it's not tedious it's really only when you deal with a really shit the uh, like when you have no structure to the front end code, uh, you have a lot of juniors or ex inexperienced de developers doing like kind of weird ad hoc things that makes the system rot to legacy. But that's the key thing, right? Any code base is tedious to deal with if it's legacy. It's the same thing for the back end. But when front end is working, which is the case that I like to consider, when front end is working or when back end is working, Frontend is actually very easy. It's actually the least, it's the most pleasant experience there is in my world at the very least. There's not very much in terms of logical complexity and there's not much in terms of tedious complexity because everything sort of just works. It's just that unfortunately very few people know how to do this. I am very fortunate to have seen, well, I've seen enough to know what a good code base looks like in front end and what a bad one looks like and I can only say that when it's a good one it's a, it's a delight to work in usually. Backend is a different story. The reason why backend is a different story is because if you have the right backend system it's logically also very simple to do when it's working um, when it, and it's fairly straightforward to work in that environment in terms of complexity uh, the thing that is tedious about backend is that it's very rare that you have a pure system 
or where you have a single backend system. The common case, unless you're working on like a very small website, is that it's an integration story. You have a distributed system. And in terms of tediousness, I don't think there's anything more tedious than a distributed system. And the reason is very simple, because the more integrations you have towards your system, the more situations you have where like model changes break, like you have API breaking changes, um, and that that's always, always a problem. Tracing issues over a distributed system is tedious as fuck, because like debugging things is a nightmare in comparison to front-end, because front-end you literally just follow the stock, stack trace. Done. You can, there's only one thing that can go wrong. What did you get from the network? And well, then this, it's the stack trace. Distributed systems, not so much. You have to check what you're getting from the APIs, and then you have to make sure that availability is a factor. You have to make sure that the more integrations you have, that you have to have communications with all these different stakeholders. If you want to ship anything, there's a hundred meetings to schedule a single property change on any of the external mo uh, the models, depending now, of course, of the type of system that you have. But even in a best case scenario, a sophisticated backend system is really tedious to deal with because it's simply connected to so many things. So if it's a one single monolith, then no, it's then like, yes, the logical difficulty is a little bit higher than it is in front end. But in terms of tediousness, in a best case scenarios, for the average front end back end type of deal, it's I'm gonna have to say that front back end takes the cake, both the complexity cakes and the tediousness cake, at least for me, as long as, as I said, the prerequisite here is that, uh, or the condition for this is that it's a good code base maintained by people who really know what they're doing. Because that's the beautiful thing. Uh, the beautiful thing about frontend. Frontend is always, always a client towards a backend system, which means that it's almost, it's always, uh, practically always its own isolated thing. It's always a quote unquote a monolith. It's something that you all you control all the code except for like dependencies, of course. But in backend, it's just very rarely the case. You simply it's because most backend systems are so big that you can't have a single big monolith or something like that. Uh, and on average you're going to have to connect to all these various data sources and let's not even talk about data migration. Data migration is a shit show. It's always going to be a shit show. I, I mean it's it's horrible even for the big companies who have this quote unquote figured out. Uh, so as lo I think that the the key red thread I want you to take away from this is that a distributed anything is a horrible, horrible thing. And that translates into my favorite saying, and that is that dependencies are bad. They're bad. I have tons of videos about this when I talk about dependencies and that the more, because the dependency is based, in a distributed system is just like whatever node within the network you're working on is just, it's an entity within a network of strings. And it's the same thing with front end. If you have a lot of dependencies, if you want to upgrade something important, it's a shit show to do that as well. Version matching and stuff like that. Network dependencies are horrible. And in backend, it's, it is even worse because, as I said, if you have other systems that you depend on and they're not really doing their job, then you suffer. You suffer all, and like you have to have all these meetings and you have to have all these talks, right? So uh, that's the root thing. Dependencies is always a tedious thing. And the thing about front end is that you can control your dependencies. If you have if you because usually you just have a single backend client, right? So that means that you only have one and single dependency apart from like your libraries and stuff like that. But backend, that's almost never the case. If you're lucky, you just have like a database. But on average, you're gonna have many, 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 many services and connections and stuff like that. And as I said, changes in data models and like all of this stuff that is external to the running system that is so fun to deal with. So what I want you to take away from this is that uh, in terms of difficulty, uh, I would say that backend is more difficult in terms of tediousness and in uh, logical issues and stuff like that, uh, simply because it is in terms of amount of work that needs to go in to like make things and so forth on average, uh, it's usually higher on back in backend because usually you don't uh, you, you usually have 
very large backend systems. Uh, frontend is of course also a very large area within the, the industry, but the thing about frontend that I really like is that if it's done right, it's actually very simple to do. Uh, I'm not saying that you, do, you you have to be very skilled to make this happen, and on average, frontend is a shit show. It's almost an industry um, industry prejudice that all frontend code bases are bad, and most of them are bad. But uh, th that's the thing, guys. Uh, when you've seen what a good front-end code base looks like, you've, I, at least my perspective is, then you realize that inherently, almost nine, I would say 100% of the front-end problems are not due to an inherent problem with front-end. It is due to incompetency, legacy code, all of these sorts of factors that we can control. Backend is not that situation. Even in the best circumstances, backend is always going to be a problem because you can simply not sustain a single gigantic monolith for like forever you have to make a distributed uh, distributed system sooner or later and as soon as you do that you start forcing dependencies into your workflow and that is always a hassle to deal with have a great day